morning. It's Saturday and Ella, I have Ella with me over here, just woke up from a slumber. How did you sleep last night? Uh, good and bad. I had a nightmare. Mm. It was a ni my nightmare was about a hummingbird mm. and I thought it was a fly because it sounded realistic and I thought it was a bee or a fly. Uh, and so what happened last night? Last night I got a little visitor in my bed trying to sneak in on me. Well, I had a nightmare. She, she told me to leave. So then I went in there and I And she got kicked out. Typical Saturday morning for us here at the Jackson household. We've got some work happening on my end for the writing channel. And we've got a sticker chart. Tech points that she can earn over here. You can notice that we've sort of set up morning tech points, afternoon tech points, and evening tech points. And today, she is working toward doing some technology with who? With Liam. Who's Liam? Liam is the boy next door. He's mm. my friend. The genius crew over here of Shih Tzus can't quite seem to figure out that that door's closed, but wait for it, wait for it. Hashtag sarcasm. Hashtag sarcasm. That door's wide open. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my genius dogs. <laughs> And so here we are, Saturday morning, working on our sticker chart, working on some vlogging, and talking a little bit about our side project that we have going on. Ella, you want to tell people what our side project is? Our side project is we're going to do write thank you letters for people that we love and care about. Do people write letters a whole lot nowadays? No, they text. Oh, they text message? Mm -hmm. I like the writing one because it shows that you're true writing. It shows your true writing? Yeah, your true love. There is something about handwriting, somebody's personal handwriting, isn't there? Mm -hmm. That makes you feel kind of connected to that person? Mm -hmm. Like I have some things from grandma that she wrote to me. And those handwriting ones are just kind of special, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And when you're texting, you don't get that, huh? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about who you're thinking about writing your thank you letter for. I think I want to write my thank you letter for, for my grandma mm -hmm. that lives here because she's not feeling well mm -hmm. and I want her to be better. Mm -hmm. Well, before she got sick, she used to babysit me and play around the house. Not this house, but the Amber Leaf one. Her old house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She used to clean it, and, and she, when I used to go to Spinnenberg Elementary, she would pick me up on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I would have two favorite days of the school week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So for any of you who are new to my channel, every single month my daughter and I take part in some sort of a writing experience where we try to use writing in our community to make a difference in the world. This month we've decided to go a little bit more low-tech and a little bit more old-fashioned, go back to the basics with letter writing. I was cleaning out the garage the other day and I came upon a box of old teaching materials and buried deep at the bottom of that box was a folder full of all of these thank you letters that my students had written to me over the course of my teaching career. I kept every single one of them, just like I keep every single email that comes across, goes into my happiness folder, for on those days when I'm feeling pretty tired and feeling a little hopeless, I take out my letters and I start reading them. I show my students this stack, by the way. Um, I would show them this stack every year because I would want them to see how powerful this kind of writing can be and that it really does make a difference in a person's life. This one is from Claire Josie. Um, she took on her own side project in, at the end of her 8th grade year and decided to create her own scrapbook for her grandmother. This is what she had to say. One of my pre favorite projects this year and last was the side project. I made a scrapbook for my grandfather. He passed away shortly after I interviewed him. The scrapbook I made is very valuable to me and my family. 
This year, I made a scrapbook for my grandmother, wife of the first scrapbook grandfather. I am so glad you inspired me to do this. Making the scrapbook was not only a gift for my grandfather, but also a gift I can give to my children. I feel like this scrapbook is the last gift that I gave him. Letter is from a student named Maddie. And she writes, I could never thank you enough for teaching me and guiding me through these two crazy, insane, wonderful years I've had here at Lakeside. You made everything fun from language arts to fun with food. It was all a blast and I'm so glad I wasn't placed in a different class. You were always an inspiration to me and you never gave up on me. When I first came to Lakeside as a seventh grader, I was really scared. I was lost and I didn't know what to do. However, you made me feel at ease. Thank you for two great years. I'll miss Lakeside, but more than that, I'll miss you. P.S. I'll be visiting you a lot. I also happened to stumble upon another little gem in my garage as I was cleaning out boxes, and that is one of the yearbooks from one of my first year teaching. You can see it's got 2006 on there, and up top, look, that's me, Stephanie Macrina, yearbook advisor. And I was flipping through the yearbook thinking about who I wanted to write my thank you letter for. I stumbled across the staff page and specifically upon a picture of Miss Colby. Miss Colby's right here. She's got the green shirt on. And just in case you're interested, here I am, right? Much younger version of myself. Miss Colby in my first few years of teaching was my teaching partner. So she taught the history component, I taught the English language arts component, and she was absolutely the number one mentor for me as a young teacher. Always giving me encouragement and reassuring me that I was doing a good job. Miss Colby is just one of those old school teachers who just, she's just amazing. And so it became quite obvious to me as I went through this old yearbook that I needed to write her a thank you letter. stickers do you think you've earned? Five. Five stickers? Yeah. That was a lot for cleaning the dog poop. So I'm gonna grant you a little taco. Let's see it. It makes me think Show of, it to me. It makes me think of Del Taco. <laughs> you do love you some Del Taco, don't you? Here you go. Aww, cute little rabbit. Alright, here you go. To me? Mm-hmm. <gasps> It's a bird. I love birds. And last one. I'm only giving you four. You gotta earn that fifth one when we get back from our field trip today. Last one. <laughs> what is it? A banana. A banana, dana, dana. So you've earned four stickers. Two are animals, two are food. I just noticed. Today, where would you like to go, my friend? To the Dollar Tree, because I've earned it. I've been wanting to go there, because I want to see what it looks like. I've watched videos. And I've learned that you can get cool stuff at the Dollar Tree for just one dollar! So it was about a week ago that Ella, out of the blue, out of nowhere, started asking me to take her to the Dollar Tree. And when I say started asking me, I mean relentlessly would not stop bothering me to take her to the Dollar Tree. Guess where we're headed? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> It's upside down, upside down, upside down. There you go. It's one quarter. That is a dollar. That I is know. a silver dollar. That's pretty awesome. I got some tissues. Mm -hmm. Two balls just in case I get bored. Mm. A bandy just in case no, if anyone gets hurt. I'm going to need to put in more. And some fairy dust just in case I need to make any wishes. Teacher's Corner at the dollar store. Did you know that? 
Well, they have random things like hatch them on car. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. How oh, are we ever gonna get through this whole store? A dice block. Let's see what I get. I'm thinking of putting my thank you note in here so the birds can read it. And so I thought instead of doing What that, is that? This is a hummingbird feeder. Uh -huh. I think you can only feed water with it and not food. Because she loves birds and hummingbirds. So she maybe put it outside of her window, huh? Mm -hmm. But we'll need hibiscus flowers. So what were you gonna do? Put your thank you letter inside of it? Yeah, cut the hole up here. Uh -huh. Cut a hole up here and then put it in and then put the lid on. So then it, it'll stay on. Okay. And then I can hang it up on it and then Grandma could read the thank you note from there. Squish. Apparently the Dollar Tree is very busy on Sunday afternoons. She needs some back out. Hello. Hi, how are you today? Good. I don't have Did you need a bag today, ma'am? Uh, yes. You do know we charge a dime for it, is that okay? Get out your money, honey. Your total today is going to be eight seventy-two.